I'm sorry, did you apologize for causing me a $100,000 loss, you son of a bitch? You a loss. I didn't cause you a loss. You sat here and told me that if I didn't share my $100,000 with you, what there was no I way I was going to do a tattoo that was. When they why? judged that tattoo, they said it doesn't fit the challenge. Lalo. I do a lot of birds, so I was actually afraid that that was going to affect the way I did the eagle, because maybe I was going to get too technical. My favorite eagle out of the bunch. Thank you. Man, what the f with this flag? Five stars, seven stripes. It's an impossible twist. It's not a realistic thing, so... It's not possible. You're drawing an American flag. It should resemble it. All these things have strict symbolism. The number of stripes, the order of the stripes. I can't get over the flag. On a vet. This guy's put his life on the line for this blanket of freedom. I'd have been scared of that guy ripping my throat out. Your artist was Lalo. Yes. He's gonna rip his ass. All of the canvases this week are military veterans. Where did you come up with the reds on this one here? It's not a realistic description of the American flag. If you have a guy who's an American patriot, he wants an American flag. Who knows what Lalo's doing, but it's not an American flag, and it's jacked. This is red, right? And ends up red here. I mean, of course, it's not a realistic. We would have, we would have to fold it out. Yeah, but let me talk. I'll let right. you talk. Uh, let me talk. I just want the lines to match up. The criteria was to incorporate an eagle and a flag. He started on the eagle, and he was doing a, an excellent job. Sure. And I remember a guest judge commented yes. that Lalo had the best eagle of the day. He also stated that you're lucky this veteran didn't tear your Throw it out. There's only eight stripes. That's crazy. Where, whereas you should have 13 stripes. And the way it's waving in the wind, it'll never twist like that. It's incorrect, and I really don't want to walk around this way. Man, I am so sorry to hear that. I could have went nose to nose with him. Oh, yeah. But I backed off and did not do anything. I have never had a chance to confront him. Well, now is the chance. I have Lalo here in the shop. Oh. Oh my God. And he does not know that you're here. Who? Boy, is he gonna be surprised. <laughs> I wanna give you the opportunity to confront him and say whatever it is you gotta say to this guy. Okay. All right? Get your flag jacket on, cause here it comes. Why don't you head in there and have a chat? Okay. I am super pissed. When I meet that little son of a bitch face to face, he will know the rage. Look out, it's a tornado gonna let loose and I will tear him up. Oh, Look you at this guy. Back. Everything good? No, it's not good. I hate the thing. If you really look at the photos of that challenge, your tattoo is the best one by far. It's, it's the it's... best eagle, but we're not talking about eagles. We're talking about the flag. You don't have 13 stripes on there. I don't know what's your problem with that flag. I think it has movement. I could have done a rectangle with stripes what, and all what, that. Let's get realistic. Get a, get a real flag, yeah, put that up alongside it, and then you tell me if you can't see any difference. The whole thing turns out like uh, It is not like don't say it's like It, it looks is. like a badass From original here tattoo. Down. It's pure It's pure Yeah. So what are you trying to do, to fix this tattoo or to get a new no, one? No, no, I'm going to get a professional. You're not a professional. Technically, you have shining moments. As far as aesthetically, no dice. Just the ending of this tattoo, the base of it, it's just not flattering, man. The lily with the lily pad underneath it, really, really poor design because it's just an oval. A lily pad has a concave shape. It has definitive veins in it. Compromises had to be made so I could do a tattoo and at least show some line work and shading. This is the first canvas, paper. People that had problems with their canvases are because the drawing sucked. This and one started before the drawing. Come in with an impressive drawing and you shut that client up. Your artist was Dave Clark. Yes. Today, you must tattoo a Japanese koi fish. I don't like bold outlines. Unfortunately, all Japanese is bold outline. That's the first thing that will get me sent home. My canvas has given me a headache from the get-go. Dave Clark gave me a bad tattoo, mm -hmm. and then he had the balls to blame me for it. I can't he imagine. said that I gave him a headache, and my 10-year-old watched the show, oh. and now her joke is, Mom, you're giving me a headache. Oh my god, Jen, you're breaking my heart. I am sorry. If you were to list for me the 
elements of this piece that you find the most troubling, what would they be? I hate most of it, to be honest with you. The lily pad, you can't tell that's a lily pad. Mm -hmm. The water underneath it that I refer to as the blue blob. In the middle, it got very muddied and it's very dark and you can't tell where the flower ends and the fish begins. It's just a very dark patch yeah. right in the middle of the tattoo. Yeah. Dave is in the shop now. If you want to go have a chat with him, I'd invite you to do that. OK. Why don't you head in, say hello to Dave. Thank you. All right. I would like to ask Dave what I did that was so terrible. I know what I want and I know what I don't want. And if that was giving him a headache, then he should be tattooing people. Dave, did you not think I was going to hear what you said about me? That I gave you a headache? How could I possibly give you a headache? You How came to a line a work challenge, and the first words in a stressful situation you said was, I want no outline. Listen to me. So how the do you I'm think that's going to be fixed? I'm not you. Don't curse at you, me. You raised your voice Don't first. Don't curse at me. Tim. Composition-wise, it's pretty rough. This background, it's a bad, awkward shape. It's got a tiny little hand. Her face is really, really squashed. With the pinup that we saw from you, today was the day that you had to come out of the gate with something strong. There's just nothing in here that is changing our minds that there's anything more to see from you. So your artist was Tim Lees. I got the worst artist in the history of Ink Master to give me a deformed geisha. Oh, I remember this tattoo. It was terrible. Pretty decent. The only concern is making that pan just a little bit larger, like, in reference to her face. Uh, what color scheme are we going with? Blues in the back, greens, reds, warms. I got to stick within certain traditional mm. colors. This background, it's a bad, awkward shape. Tiny little hand. Her face is really, really squashed. Tim, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It looks like a color wheel threw up on my chest. The colors were not what I asked for. The background, which was supposed to be blue, is aquamarine teal. He didn't fix the tiny hand that I pointed out specifically. The anatomy's off. And what did he say to that? Well, yeah, OK, and went off in a huff, never redrew it. Oh, my god, that's Tim. Sandy, what do you think when he comes home and you look at this thing? I laughed, actually, when he took his shirt off and went, <laughs> what the hell is this big blue blob on his chest? It's never good when you take your shirt off and your wife laughs. The episode airs, and Tim was eliminated. How did that feel? Nobody wants to be the worst tattoo of the no, day. And you're invested more than anybody. Absolutely. Well, listen, Tim is in the shop now. I want to invite you guys to go in there and have a chat and at least get this off your chest, so to speak. I don't think All there's right. any way to get that off his chest. <laughs> All right, guys, head on in. Knowing I have to wear this thing forever is a very tough pill to swallow. If you come on Ink Master, you should bring your A game. And I don't think he has an A game to bring. Well, 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 look who it is. The worst artist in Ink Master history. I just want to know one thing. How do you go to sleep at night knowing that you put something like this on somebody? It looks like total crap, man. Then he had to come home and deal with me, and I looked at it and told him what crap it was. If you're going to trace something, at least. I didn't trace nothing, and you know it. Well, you, you know should have, because this is not a custom piece of art. It's a custom piece of crap. Kyle. Talk to me about the background, bro. I was hoping to have something that was more Aztec or uh, Mayan, maybe Mexican, and I'm not culturally sound there, so. That's why you gotta do your research before you tattoo something. It's just strange. It almost looks like it's a jerry curl hairdo or something hanging off the back of this thing. I will say the upside to this is that you understand that in black and gray there has to be skin. You do have some nice, rich values in here. The fact that everybody else the bed makes this tattoo not look so bad. So your artist was Kyle. A luchador mask, is it fine that we have like the half mask? Yeah, no, I don't think that's going to work. I have to get Day of the Dead in here somehow, too. This isn't going to win this challenge. I want to walk out of here with something that, you know, I'm going to want to show off to everybody. I want to you with $1,000. He doesn't give a about my standing inside this competition. Unless you're sharing 100 grand, I got to make sure this is something I want. <laughs>
What happened with Kyle? We butted heads right off the start. I made a comment about how if he split his hundred grand with me, I'd let him tattoo whatever he wanted. But until then, I'm the one that had to have this thing on my skin forever. Sure. I wanted something that I wanted. And that's kind of where everything went downhill from that, that point. That way went downhill from that comment? Yeah. I don't find that to be an insulting comment. My memory of the tattoo is that it came out pretty good. Oh, it looked phenomenal when it was yeah. done. So why are you here today? He was busting my balls about the whole concept to begin with. We compromised and then when all was said and done, all that detail that he was so worried about getting into the tattoo completely washed out and turned gray. But it also sounds like you have some personal issues with Kyle. The attitude, the cockiness, the arrogance, and you're like he just wouldn't work with me on it. Well, Dan, as you know, Kyle is here. He's in the shop right now. And what we'd like to offer you is an opportunity to go talk to Kyle, maybe square whatever issues you guys have. And if that goes good, look into getting this tattoo fixed up. It really depends on how this conversation goes. I'm curious to see how that goes, so. too. Why don't you head in the shop? All right. I think when Kyle sees me, he's either going to walk away, call me an asshole, or want to punch me in the face. Who knows? He's already proven 100 times that he's got a short fuse. Let's see if he's changed. Mr. Dunbar, you know why I'm here, right? I figure that you're just a cheap mother. This is exactly what I knew was going to happen. So why the are you here? You like cameras that much? No, because I'm here to put you in your place. You want to be a dick? God damn it! That was my day! Blackie raised the and I do! You me! <laughs>